guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and if you're new make sure you stop and subscribe to my channel like i said i'm going to be posting a little more so you might as well subscribe sorry i'm tired y'all i have been moving like yesterday i had a flash sale all my lashes was six dollars so i've been running around doing that because like i stay on campus now so i have a lot of pickup orders and today I've been dealing with that, trying to get my room back straight from business stuff. And I've also been waiting to show you guys like the new things added to my business. So, yeah, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm kind of tired right now. And I also, when I ordered my checkbooks, they sent me a Red Bull. So I'm trying that <laughs> also. <clears throat> so if I get a little jittery, maybe it's the Red Bull. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? But anyway, if you guys do not know, I am CEO and founder and owner of Sin City Beauty. Um, if you haven't never heard of my business, click down in the description box below. But to start with, I'm going to show you guys my new stickers. So I decided to kind of like do a small rebrand. Not really big, just small. Basically change the look. Anyway, so basically... All I did was just get stickers. So these are the stickers that go on my lash packs and my lashes. And this is what it looks like on the actual boxes. So basically my idea was to just do holographic items. And these are the ones that go on my my 25 mm circle lashes if you can see it and then this is what it looks like inside the case and then these are the ones that go on my packages because as you guys know I have wanted labels to go on my packages like the back of them And I'll actually show you how this look on a package. I have two packages to send out on Tuesday. Because as you know, Monday is a holiday. So, I'll be able to show you this. So, that's really like all my new labels. Honestly, so if you order from now until later, that's going to be the look of the things that you get. I also got to show you that on this. I cut off my own, my little compact thing. And I actually just put it on the side because it was too big to fit how I want it to fit in my head. So, and then to show you guys a new thing that was added to my website, I added these like bundle boxes. And I did get labels to go on the top of these, but my measurements was wrong. I had got this little size. But all it says is just Barbie bundle box with some lashes and then my at name. So I just... I just stick them in the box, honestly. But this is how the inside of the box looks. Tissue paper, some shreds, some little holographic confetti thing. And then however many lashes you order, you can order between 4 to 12 pair of lashes. And you also have a bundle pack that comes with glosses, 4 lashes and 2 glosses. So, you can do between that. So that's the new thing with those. So you can go on my website and check those out. And then another new product, which I'm actually going to be labeling now because I've been waiting to label it until I made this video, is my lash packs. I got new lash packs. So I actually launched these like maybe two or three days ago, maybe two days ago. And I had two kinds. So this style is called Girl Power. 
and you get four for ten. And then this style is flutter. And as you can see, I only have like four flutters left. And I have eight girl powers left. So, and then I was watching this girl video. I think her name is Baby Girl D or whatever. I'll link it in the description box. She actually showed me this label paper from Avery, which I use to label my lash packs and also my lip glosses. So this is what I'm going to be using today. These and then these stickers to label my lash pack. So since I have the least amount of flutters, I'm going to just do flutter first. Okay, so I have all of the packs labeled. As you can see, I literally have three flutters and then I think seven girl powers. So if you would like to get your $10 lash pack, click down in the description box and get them. So probably between today and tomorrow, I'm going to either write down to put in the order for flutter or go ahead and put in order to restock flutter because i don't want it to be sold out too long because i see that it's a a crowd favorite so yeah and so i can finally put these labels up since so i done labeled them all this sheet actually comes with i think 80 80 labels so oh i didn't get to show you guys but it look up close That's it, just a clear label for the writing on it. So next I'm going to go through and label my <clears throat> and label my lip glosses. So this is what those labels look like on the paper. It just says Sin City Beauty with a lip print. So I'm gonna go over and get my lip glosses. So these are all the lip glosses that I have currently. Um these are those as you might can see. Some of them already have the label on them. Just what it looks like. 
And this is the shade Sweetie. And then this is the style Sweet of the Berry. Which these are all on my website. My shade Ice is currently sold out, by the way. And then this is Brown Sugar. Named after my mother. That was her nickname back in the day. And this is Princessa. It's like a peachy pink, kind of, sort of. And then birthday suit, which is what I had just put on. This is what it looks like. If the glare. And then the last one is Sugar Plum, which I don't have a label. These are my old little circle labels I was putting on it, which didn't work that well for me. So I decided to change over. But this is Sugar Plum. And just information on the lip glosses. The pinky and kind of purpley shades are all flavored strawberry. And the browns and the clear gloss is flavored with vanilla. Which kind of feels like cake. So, I'm just going to put all the labels on these so that that can be out of the way as well. So, instead of putting them in these, because they're kind of like holding up space on my dresser, I'm going to just pull them in here. So, I'll just start to keep the little glasses in here. And if you know the trend so far, I love these containers. They hold my 25 mm's, they hold my lash packs, now they're holding my lip glosses. And you get 10 of these at Walmart for like $8, I think. So I use these to store literally almost everything. And so that's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys basically how I use my stickers that I call basically like my brand label stickers. So when I get pickup orders that won't fit into my largest lash bags, I use these little bags right here, I got them literally from um, Family Dollar. And I got the bigger one from Dollar Tree. So like, if I get like a really big or like lash packs, lip gloss, regular lashes, they'll go in there. So basically, I put the label sticker on the front so that you know this is where it came from. And then the package in there. And I put um, shred on top. And then... Oh, well, on top of your order. So that's how it works with pickup orders, like big pickup orders. So that's that. And then, just to update, I actually got my first order internationally. So I got an order from Canada. I'm going to show you guys the packing, how the label looks different, but I am going to cross out her information because I don't want her information out there. But basically, this is how international labels look which is crazy to me because this is the first time that I actually seen one shipped out 
looking at it this is how it looks when you get things from chinese vendors this is how it looks so it's not a big surprise it's my first time seeing one like me shipping it out but then i have one right here so as you can see on the back i put the label on the back so that when you get it you'll see it on the back so the next time i actually get these labels made because i think i'm gonna keep with this theme i'm gonna get since the beauty i'm gonna make the size of the letters bigger so that it's more holographic than it is pink but it still has that pink outside so that is how i use those labels and basically i just keep all my orders in one of my drawers so i'm just put those back there. so i'm gonna have another container that i'm going to basically put all my stickers in i'm going to keep them in their ziploc bags because i want to keep them separated but they're all just going to go into a box I'm probably going to end up getting more. I definitely know I'm going to have to get more of these soon. Probably not so of these, honestly. And I'm probably going to start using these within the next week. Because I had to restock two different lash styles. And I also have a lash style that I have not released yet. Which is the one that I use as an example for how the sticker looks. So... But probably those kind of because they give you a lot of these circle lashes for like an inexpensive price. So I probably won't have to restock those as soon as I'm thinking. I'm trying to remember if this is everything that I need to do. Well, I think that's that it's probably going to wrap up this video. So if you guys enjoyed this um video, I think this is episode like seven, six or seven of my entrepreneurial episode life, whatever I call it, because I can't remember right now. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see within my business. Make sure you enter the giveaway that started today but when i post this video it won't be the first day of the giveaway but make sure you enter that on my business instagram at shop city and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one hopefully i'll see you guys in my order column of my website <laughs> but anyway i'll see you guys later love y'all Wasn't made for you. Angels like you.